Hello and welcome. I trust you are all well and safe. 2020 is one crazy year. I am excited to present the second part of the free tool tutorial. In this free tool tutorial I will be demonstrating some advanced free tool options. The main option being, generating a frame from 3D solid objects or faces. I will also share some tips and tricks. Let's get to it. Before we move on, I would like to mention that I will be building my very own tiny house soon. After my husband left me, I feel I don't need a big house. A small little house will do me fine. Keep a lookout for videos documenting the entire build. Okay good, great, wonderful. Let's start by drawing a bit of a complex shape or solid object. We will be generating frames from the faces of this solid object. Note you can create any solid object and follow along. An object like a box or block will be fine. I am simply demonstrating the capabilities with this example. Okay. Next, I will generate a frame from a face and show you the behavior. Use the number 2 icon from the right in the free tool toolset to generate this face into sections or profiles. You will note the following. The edges of the faces have been generated into sections or profiles. The sections or profiles are generated in the center of the face edges. This may not be the behavior or output you desire. Typically, you would want your frame to sit within the edges of the face. I will demonstrate how to achieve this next, select a face and then use the offset icon to offset the edges of the face. We will then generate the offset face. There you have it. The frame envelope fits with the edges of the selected face. I will now demonstrate how to generate a more complex frame using the offset face as a base. Pay attention. I drew reference lines using the number 1 icon. I then selected the references line and then the face. Note. Do not select the edges of the face. Just the reference lines and the face will do. Important note. Reference lines are drawn within the offset face edges. Next I will tag structural sections and then tool. Please refer to the first free tool tutorial on tag options and their behavior. Next I will group the sections into a frame. There you have it. 3D free tooling. A very powerful option. You can use it to make stunning frames from 3D models. Sky is the limit. Take care and remember to share this video with your friends.